Hey, it's Huck. And forgive me if I sound a little strange. I have some kind of um, sores in my mouth, and I guess they're caused from uh, one of the medications that I've been taking, and so they took that off of me. But my tongue is just raw and um, a lot of pain. Um, my tongue is swollen as well, so it's hard for me to swallow. Um, and it could take a week or two for this to go away, if it's what they think it is. Um, I just wanted to check in with you because I haven't um, been posting videos as frequently as I was. Um, April 2nd was the anniversary of two significant events in my life. Um, one, it was the day that my dad died. Uh, he died at Hospice House in 2007, and I was with him when he died, alone with him in his room. My brother had been with him all afternoon, late afternoon and evening, and um, I relieved him at about 8 o'clock. And, um, and uh, my dad died, I don't know, a little after 10 o'clock, I think. Um, and it was devastating for me. You know, any time the first time you lose a parent, I, I, I think, you know, it's, it's hard to uh, deal with. Um, the other significant event, however, was that I had my lung transplant six months ago, uh, October 2nd. And, um, and so I wanted to celebrate that. And, uh, and I was trying to think of what I could do. And I had been feeling pretty good. And I had kind of been trying to save up a little money. It's been really tough because of all the medical bills and the pharmaceutical costs. And um, they keep giving me... I'm still on this, um, this uh, IV, uh, although uh, hopefully this will be the last week for that. Um, but so I, I thought, you know, the heck with it. My buddy, um, who normally I would go someplace with, uh, was working that weekend, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to the Ocean City. It was uh, one of the last trips I took before uh, my long operation, and. Um, I knew from that experience that um, that you got a really good deal this time of year. Those rooms on the boardwalk or on the beach can go, you know, four hundred dollars and up uh, during you know in season. And uh, the last time we had gone, um, I don't know what year that was, 2019, I think. It's the last time we went there, um, we got a. A room with a balcony right on the boardwalk for eighty dollars a night, and um, so I thought, you know, I don't know, what what could it be? You know, it's even earlier in the year, um, April second, because the last time that we went in twenty nineteen, I think we went in early May, so I figured the prices would be, you know, under a hundred dollars, and indeed I could have got a room for like eighty four dollars a night. Wouldn't have had an ocean view, but it would have been right on the boardwalk. And um, as it was, I ended up spending one night. I was going to spend two, but I spent one night and I got the boardwalk, um, uh, the um, balcony right on the ocean view. But then I started coming down with this, and um, and uh, although it got much worse as uh, the week wore on, but I came home after one day. Um, so, altogether, the trip, I don't know exactly what the total cost of that trip was. Um, I uh, know gas prices had gone up, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, I think I had filled my tank before for that trip. And it was, my tank was still just about full. And gas prices were like 304 305 And um, I know by the time I came home, the prices were like... 369 or some crazy thing. I don't know what happened, you know, for the prices to go way up, but um, maybe it's all these storms. Um, but uh, the other significant cost was um, the tolls. You have to take the Pennsylvania toll pike, and I think um, tolls have gone up since the last time I've been on the turnpike. 
So, um, I don't know, it's told by mail now. They take pictures of your license plate as you drive through. So I guess I'll find out what the toll is. I'm not even sure. Uh, but at any rate, I spent one night there. And, um, you know, with tax and everything, it wasn't that bad. Uh, it's not money I really had, but I, I thought, you know, I want to celebrate this. And um, But like I said, since I've come home, my mouth has just been... What it is, is it's raw. I've got like little ulcers on there, and part of my tongue on the whole side of my tongue is just completely rubbed raw. I don't know what that... Apparently, the doctor thinks it's a side effect of one of the medications, so she's taking me off of it. Medication called Everlimus. Um, so I'm taking more of the Tacrolimus instead. And uh, I don't know. All I know is this pain doesn't go away. And... Um, I got a prescription today of something. Um, it's got um, lidocaine and Benadryl in it, and you're supposed to swish your mouth. And it didn't numb any of the parts that are sore. Numbed the hell out of my lips, but nothing else. So I don't know. I'm watching the Indians opening game, uh, opening uh, day, their home opener. Uh, Indians, uh, Indians, the Guardians, uh, and they're tied now in the sixth inning, three to three. They were winning three to one. Now they're tied three three. So anyway, I just wanted to catch up with you. I probably should not have splurged. I don't really have the money, the medical bills. Um, I'm still dealing with obviously, uh, and will continue to. But you know, once in a while, I was getting a little. Um, I don't know, stir crazy. Um, I just had to get away for a little bit. And, um, you know, hopefully maybe that did me a little bit of good. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, I think the other thing I was celebrating that I had not been in the hospital, you know, for a stay in, you know, six or seven weeks now. And uh, this is the longest stretch since my operation that I haven't had to go back in the hospital for, you know, at least a week or, or two. So I'm kind of happy about that. And even though I'm kind of under the weather right now with this mouth thing, um, really, really hard to eat anything. Um, could be worse. I'm not in the hospital. And hopefully this will start getting better now that I'm not on that medication. We'll see if indeed that's what this is. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll talk to you again real soon.